Oh, I've really enjoyed coming. The building itself is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I've been in a few times in the past. Uh, I like the building. It's uh, quite a quite, quite nice looking building. Yeah. Coming in, here, in and out of here for 60 odd years. There's a good exhibition in there about Preston. The special exhibitions have been very interesting. My son is 15 and I've enjoyed being here. Hmm, it's been lovely. I did enjoy the age thing, looking back in the ages, especially to my age. I like coming in and seeing the new things. I've uh, just been in the, uh, the area with the, with the kids and uh, reading and enjoying it, so it's, uh, it's a good life atmosphere. It's usually like going up to the top floor and uh, looking at those paintings up there. Yeah, bring the grandchildren here. Every now and then during the holidays usually if there's something on. And that's got good facilities. It's a good place, the uh, cafe's very nice and uh, it's very enjoyable. Yeah. I think the Harris is unique in that many museums in Britain have kind of divided their collections up. The Harris is kind of one of the last survivors of these, these museums that where you could walk in and every subject is covered. So you still have an art collection, a decorative art collection, a co costume, social history, you even have a library and local studies library. So you can come in here and you can basically explore your own history, you can be inspired about art, you can find some quiet corner where you can reflect and look at an art, at a painting and you know have a, have a much more emotional or spiritual experience or you could come here and seriously you know learn something about Preston's history. So I think it's got something for everybody. sign kinds of events um, all through the weekends and the school holidays. We've had what's in store sessions, that's when we bring out some of the uh, objects from the collection that are usually hidden down in the stores and people don't normally get to see so it's great to bring those out and let people see them and handle them often for the first time ever. We also do a scent bottle treasure hunt where we become Mrs French who donated all these 3,000 scent bottles you can see around me and we go and hunt them out. And, um, see what we can find in the stories they might tell. I think what they find the most fun is when something they thought was going to be boring um, is actually really exciting and relevant to them. Our Annie the Artist, Artie Explorer bags um, allow them to bring these paintings to life in a way that's relevant to them. So it might be through dressing up or creating their own portrait, um, all sorts of things, and role play and drama and just playing really and finding it, finding that what was really boring is actually really exciting. For costume and textiles at the Harris, it's not just about all the lovely things that we've got on display, it's also about showing them to our visitors and enjoying them with our visitors. So we do lots of different events and activities that people can come along to. One of them is Costume Collection Champions. We meet once a month for a day and they help us care for our historic pieces. So it might be making padded hangers or it might be making mounts for fragile and flat textiles. It's all sorts of things, helping us catalogue the lace collection. But they're absolutely wonderful and everybody's welcome. You don't have to be a specialist so you can come and get involved. Um, we also have a regular textile craft club for people who like still being creative, um, knitting or embroidering or anything at all. And they're welcome to come along and meet like-minded people and to do some stitching at the museum. And we also run So Cool, which is a drop-in session for families. Um, or actually, we get lots of adults joining in as well, but you can have a go at stitching and knitting and textile printing and weaving and things like that. There's something for everyone, we hope, and certainly if you're interested in textiles, whether you're a real enthusiast or you just want to learn more, then if you come and have a look in our exhibitions and events guide, and I'm sure there'll be something for you, I think the thing is just to come along to one, and then I guarantee you'll be coming regularly. <laughs> My job is to um, look after the um, history collections that have been um, built up in Preston. So I do a lot of exhibitions here 
100% of my time at the moment is being spent on the redevelopment of the story of Preston Gallery for the Preston Guild, which is in 2012. And the History Gallery is a big, ambitious project for the Harris, it, you know, over a million pound project. So one of the things we're doing is we're developing a discovery room which is completely new for the Harris, which is actually a, a space in this gallery which will be devoted to um, changing displays and exploring um, the collections, the wider collections in the building. So we're kind of now looking at how we can make a gallery that will be with us in 20, 30 years' time, but will still be fresh, will still keep people coming back um, and getting people excited about Preston's history. Mm -hmm.